Hi, everybody. Welcome to Fulcher High School Gym, and welcome to the playoffs. Roger Smith on BikeFortBend.com, and we lead off with an awesome matchup between Seven Lakes and your Fulcher Chargers girls. Fulcher, the top seed coming out of District 26A in their first year ever in Class 6A, and they'll take on the Seven Lakes team that very recently has won a state championship. So they have a great program, and it's going to be a very strong matchup. This is also the first year during which classes 2A through 6A in volleyball are separating into two 64 team brackets. So there will be a Division I champion and a Division II champion in classes 2A through 6A volleyball. And that is kind of an, an interesting twist to the mix of playoffs for all these teams that get together and Seven Lakes is definitely a formidable opponent in the first round. We'll get you ready for everything with a countdown to first serve show. We have so many things to tell you about, especially what Seven Lakes has going for them because you're a little bit unfamiliar with them, but they have a 6'4 freshman. And her name is Lana Okwura, and she's, she might still be growing. I know that's frightening to think about, but a 6'4 freshman, she anchors their middle, and it is tough, and tough to get through the block that she imposes upon the other offense. Fulcher comes into this, this match with a record of 34-6, 10-0 in District 26A play. They last lost at Pearland, and I believe that was 40-something uh, nights ago. It was a five-setter and they played a match against Shadow Creek this past Friday just to get ready for the playoffs. They have won 11 straight, including that, that match against Shadow Creek in Seven Lakes, 29 and 10 on the year, 11 and five in a very tough district. They finished behind Cinco Ranch, which is state ranked, and also Tompkins. So we'll be back with their head coach, Amy Catiline. She's familiar to Fort Bend County. She was at Austin, and she took the Austin Bulldogs all the way to the state championship match in 2016 when her team lost to Louisville Hebron. But she did raise the standard at Austin, and it's, it's had a very high standard of play ever since. And, of course, she has a skin on the wall as a champion at Seven Lakes and Sydney Zimmerman of your Fulcher Chargers. She has herself a state championship from 2019 and a state final appearance the very next year in Class 5A. That was in 2020. Okay, we'll be back with Coach Cataline right after this. And our coverage is brought to you by Xfinity, home of the 10G Next Generation Network, only from Xfinity. The future starts now. By First Tire and Automotive, with four great Fort Bend County locations, including one in Katy Cinco Ranch, perfectly convenient for all you Fulcher fans as well as you Seven Lakes fans. Leonetti Graphics is the official banner provider of VibeFortBend.com, and we have our brand new sponsor. We are so proud to be affiliated with LOVB. That's League One Volleyball. Love Houston is what it's called. It's the new professional volleyball league making its way across America, and the Fort Bend team will play at the Fort Bend Epicenter. That's the Houston team, actually, playing at the Fort Bend Epicenter, and they will start in January and we are also, of course, presented by the Volleyball School. They have carried us throughout the year. We really appreciate their support. And we'll be right back with Coach Cataline right after this on VikeFortBend.com. But like you've never seen it before. Introducing Love Houston, professional volleyball like you've never seen it before. You saw them win silver in Paris this summer. Now you can see them playing for the first time on American soil. Love Houston will feature some of the best pro players in the world, including two-time Olympic medalists Jordan Thompson and Micah Hancock. Get ready for first serve in January 2025. Visit lovb.com for tickets. Volleyball is the next major league. 
First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Welcome to Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School Playoff Edition as it is Seven Lakes and Fulcher facing each other in by district Glad to have you with us. And Amy Cataline is the head coach of Seven Lakes. We know her pretty well because of her time at Austin. And first of all, Coach Cataline, I wanted to ask you, you know, did your team kind of finish the season on a roll, and, and how do you feel about going into this first match with Fulcher? Well, we're really excited about this match. We faced Fulcher in a preseason game back in August, and I feel like we've grown a lot since then, as well, I'm sure they have too. So it will be fun to make full circle and face each other. And it was a great battle when we came in here um, the first time around, so we're hoping for another great match with just a different outcome. Yes. By the way, I know you're, you're the Seven Lakes coach, and you've been that way for several years. But I just wanted to give you a chance to say a little something about your Austin team of 2016 that went all the way to the state finals. And I think you just kind of, you set a very high bar and teams in Fort Bend ISD are still trying to, you know, reach that bar. I was a special group of girls. They had a talented group. It was 2015 and we made it to the state finals. Yes, we did. And then... Um, yeah, that was just a great experience. You don't get that far without a lot of talent. And um, it was a fun ride. And how about your life and how it has changed since you won a state championship with Seven Lakes? Because you get introduced differently if you're ever at a coaches conference or something like that. Has it kind of changed in a, in a very uh, noticeable way, just your daily life? My life hasn't changed at all. <laughs> um, I've just been blessed with a lot of talent and um, just a lot of opportunities. And so I just, um, it's been a fun ride. God has really blessed my career and um, it, it would be fulfilling without all of those honors as it is. But um, yeah, it's just sweet. It is, it is great for, you know, you could coach many more years and you, you don't want to be kind of, you know, in your 50s or something, still pursuing that state championship, you can say you have one, and, and I guess uh, the blessing of others would be gravy. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, so I have looked at your max prep stats and kind of figured out who's your best at serving and who's your best at killing, but I'm going to presume that that girl that I'm pointing at right now <laughs> is your most fearsome player when you're looking right across the net at her. Am I right? She pets up a big block. Yep. Lana's a freshman, and um, she's 6'4", and she does a great job setting the block and pressing over and shutting down some of our opponent's biggest hitters. A 6'4 freshman. That's right. Is she done growing? Might she yeah. still get taller? Who knows? I guess we'll find out in the next three years, but she's done a great job. She's really progressed this season. Well, things are different this year in that KD teams don't play Fort Bend ISD teams, yet with Fulcher being such a close neighbor, I know there is, is definitely a they all know each other kind of factor. Do you kind of know who knows whom on your team and Fulcher's main players? Yes. All of the girls know of each other, play against each other, play with. My setter, Kate, um, she's on the same team as Bailey Warren, and they're great friends, and so there's a rivalry there, and a, a friendly rivalry. And so, yes, all of the girls are aware of each other's tendencies, I guess you should say. Well, one last question. I know they, they've changed the format, and it's divided into divisions. This is Division One, so um, there are not quite as many teams, and, and you don't get that disparity between a top seed and a four seed when they play each other in the first round. But do you like kind of being the second team in Division One out of KDISD taking on Fulcher because really there's no pressure on your team. Yeah, well, you're going to face them sooner or later. And so we get to see what we're made of right out of the gate, and it's exciting. I haven't decided if I like it or I don't like it, <laughs> but it's new and it's a, it's a challenge and we're up for it. And so, yeah, we hope to, to do well and 
provided that we, we win, maybe, maybe I'll like it. <laughs> well, I kind of feel the same way. It's, I don't know if I like it or not, yeah. but, but if it gives a team that I get a chance to follow and broadcast for uh, an additional chance to win state, then, then that would make me happy. Yeah, absolutely. And having two KDISD teams being able to go to state and possibly win is, I think that that's even more exciting because we have such a great competitiveness between us. And so it gives, it creates more opportunities for all teams, not just KDISD, but all teams. And so that's exciting. All right. Thank you, Coach Catiline. Best of luck tonight. Appreciate the visit. All right. We'll continue with the countdown to first serve show here on Let's see, it is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School, playoff edition number one. It's the bi-district round. It is Fulcher taking on Seven Lakes. And before we get done with this countdown to first serve show, we will talk with Sidney Zimmerman, head coach of the Fulcher Chargers. I'm Roger Smith, glad to have you with us. And we will be right back after this from LOVB.com, League One Volleyball, Love Houston Volleyball. The next major league. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston this January, featuring Olympic medalist Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars. With the action kicking off on January 9th, visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Welcome back to the Countdown to First Serve show. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School, but we're not just going to be playing on Tuesday nights from here on out. Fulcher is leading off the playoffs, taking on Seven Lakes, and it's time to visit with Sidney Zimmerman. Totally new thing this year, playing 6A schools out of Katy, and your team has passed the regular season tests, and now you got to play a team that did win a championship not too long ago. So what do you think about playing Seven Lakes? I mean, we're ready. I think that, um, you know, the, the move into 6A has, has been something that we're, we've been excited about, we're ready for. Um, you know, it's, it's generally we feel pretty good about going at least a few rounds deep. Um, so it's just very, very different to play, you know, a big team like Seven Lakes right away. And, um, you know, they're well coached by Coach Catiline, and, um, but I think we're ready for it. Yeah, she's as, as good a coach as she is nice, <laughs> which says a lot about her. And, you know, back on August the 20th, you did beat her team, but I know teams develop and change, and, and they're going to be a lot different tonight. What are you anticipating especially from their 6-3 or 6-4 freshmen. Yeah, I mean, we know they've got a big block, you know, not not just her. They they really have a big block all the way across. Um, so every rotation, they've got somebody pretty dangerous up there. We're trying to run a quick offense and um, kind of make that block move and um, create some splits, create some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Um, but, yeah, we, we know they're going to block well. We know their outsides, you know, are very effective and consistent and, um, so we're hoping that we can, we can jump on them early, get some momentum, and uh, roll with it. Um, has anybody on the football team kind of let you know, we got you, we're going to be loud, we're going to be disruptive? I hear there are some of them coming, so we're looking forward to that. They're always, they're always fun. Well, to me, some is not good enough. They should all be here. Okay, uh, but, but I'm kind of kidding about that. Actually, I would like them all to be here. But 
In the past, when you've been in 5A, sometimes the by-district match has not been that challenging, and I know it, it may have you a little bit nervous tonight, but I think it's going to serve your team well to really be tested in every round. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, we played our warm-up game against Shadow Creek on Friday, and just for that reason, to get some really good competition. So, um, yeah, the exciting thing about playing those good teams early on is that we're going to keep getting better, and that's kind of the ultimate goal. All right, so Seven Lakes is a team you've played a little bit. You're not totally familiar with them, but is there a familiarity with individuals because so many of these girls know each other from the club teams? For me, no. I, I do know Coach Catiline well. Um, we, we scrimmage them every year and end up playing a preseason game, so we've seen each other a lot. Um, but I know the girls, you know, they play club together and all of that. So, yeah, I think that makes it a little more intense. Well, I've seen, you know, boys playing tournament baseball in pitcher who really knows the batter very well will kind of smile at him, but there probably won't be too much smiling tonight. <laughs> this is a playoff. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be the opposite. All right. Well, hopefully the Chargers are smiling at the end. So, you know, that that's what I came here for. Thanks for being with us and anything else you want to say? Uh, go Chargers. All right. We'll be back and we'll tip this one. Well, that's basketball. What am I saying? We'll we'll get the first serve. We'll get this one underway when we return on bikefortbend.com. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Welcome back to the Countdown to First Serve show on VikeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. And we're bringing you Tuesday night volleyball throughout the season and all of the playoff action involving Fort Bend County teams. And we appreciate the volleyball school, three locations, including the one on on West Belford and Aliana, and we welcome Claudio Newell to our Countdown to First Serve show. And talk to us, Claudio, about how the volleyball school has grown, and we appreciate your sponsorship over the last three seasons now. Okay, thank you for having me. Uh, really, we are very excited. Um, yes, uh, you're right, we have three locations, um, but we have a fourth location coming on board that will be in Cyprus. Uh, hopefully early 2025. So we are very excited to serve that uh, community. So, uh, and here we are, you know, we, we like very much uh, all this uh, school season. Uh, we have many, many players that have trained with us and now they're playing for their own schools. In fact, we have about 95, 96% of our kids made their school team. So we are very proud of them. I'm very happy to, to continue this sponsorship. That is great. You know, you, you have girls who aspire to, to reach individual and team goals, and you obviously have the statistics, the evidence that shows that that is happening for them. So we congratulate you on that. I wanted to take note of the fact that before the, the facility on West, West Belford and Aliana went up, I was looking inside and I was thinking, wow, this thing is huge. Well, it's still just as huge, but you can't really swing your arms too much without hitting a young athlete. Uh, how, what have you done to really grow the enrollment in a big way? So really it's about engaging with the community. Uh, we've been uh, blessed to be, really be welcome very, uh, very much on the Sugarland area on the Aliana uh, location, on the Mission Bend. Really, the, the communities have been great, and we are partnering with you know, local businesses. And really, the, uh, we feel like there was a need. There was a need on this community, and the kids are really uh, excited, and we have a very good response. So we are happy about that. So you and Domingo Martinez have really kind of had that vision. You could kind of see the growth 
and it is obviously a very popular place for these young athletes. And is there anything else that you want to tell our listeners about the experience at the volleyball school if they're considering sending one of their children to come here and train? Yes, uh, basically, you know, uh, we are, uh, our main focus is to work on the fundamentals. We bring, uh, we are specialized on bringing kids from beginners all the way to advanced. And we do the heavy lifting, you know, to teaching, teaching the kids uh, the fundamentals to, to improve, to grow, to love the sport. And that is the key, you know. Um, and we welcome all, there are no, I mean, if you get the right instruction and you get the right uh, training and, and effort, you will make it. So we are always giving that positive feedback to the kids and encouraging them to grow. All right, that is Claudio Newell of the Volleyball School. We appreciate you being with us. Your support is fantastic, and we hope to be able to tell everybody that you are supporting us all the way into November and those high-stakes matches. Uh, that's what really gets folks excited, and we have some great quality teams in Fort Bend County. Thank you, Claudio, and, and uh, hopefully you'll join us on future editions of the Countdown to First Serve show. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, we'll be back soon by FortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Lean Eddy Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lean Eddy Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lean Eddy Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official first tire and automotive. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com Professional volleyball is coming to Houston this January, featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars. With the action kicking off on January 9th, visit LOVB.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. All right, as we begin the playoffs, the Fulcher Charger girls are going to have their hands full with seven lakes. Megan Chapman leads the Spartans in kills with 517. And Gracie Hoban 
gets 3.4 kills per set. She is second on the team with 328 of those kills. The hit percentage, Heidi Wingate, number one on the team with 386. When it comes to blocks, Wingate leads the Spartans in that category also, 103 on the season. And when it comes to aces, it is Gracie Hoban. So she's second on the team in kills. She has 42 aces. That's tops on the Seven Lakes Club. And Megan Chapman, best in digs with 509. And the assists go to Kate Kuhn with 993. She will no doubt get her 1,000th kill tonight. So your full shirt chargers, Bailey Warren leads the way in kills. She's an assassin. She has 488 on the year and gets 4.9 per set. Lauren Witte with 3.1% and 334 total for the year. And the freshman Jada Skinner with 2.3% and Araya Watson has 221 total kills for the year. So if the left one doesn't get you, the right one will when Fulcher is out there attacking on offense. When it comes to hit percentage, Araya Watson leads the Chargers at 361. Bailey Warren is at 323 and Jada Skinner at 270. That's the hit percentage. When it comes to blocks, Araya Watson leads the way with 61. Alexis James, 44. And Shane Voskule, she's at 40. And when it comes to aces, Sydney Black leads the Chargers with 52. Lauren Witte has 46. And Alexis James, 38. Sydney Black also leads the team in digs with 5.2% and a total of 616 on the year. Alexis James with 318 is second on the team. And Addie Lednicki has 291 digs for Fulcher. On August 20th, Fulcher beat Seven Lakes 25-17, 25-20, and 25-20. But that was 46 days ago. And it's been... Almost 40 days since Fulcher lost. That was a match at Pearland, but a great match to get prepared for the district season, which we know when you think about the district that Fulcher plays in, the playoff draw is difficult once you get out of district, but district was not very challenging to them. Foster finished second in the district, and there aren't that many teams in the district, only five opponents because straight Jesuit, the all-male school which is part of district 26a they obviously don't play volleyball against girls because this is texas and that just we would not accept that so this this is ladies night as it always is on tuesday night vibefortbend.com rosie bega is the silent partner inside the mothership at vibe world headquarters i appreciate her being there and the seven lakes girls are running through their human tunnel to get the team fired up, they're wearing their navy blue sleeveless jerseys. They have Astro colors, basically. They have Spartans in orange letters across the back near the bottom, but white numerals outlined in orange. And they're wearing the navy blue shorts. And for Fulcher, it's the long sleeve purple jerseys and the black shorts. Fulcher is at the east end of the floor, ready to attack. And I always give the starting lineup and then they make a change right before the match begins. But I see Lauren Witte, Shane Voskule, Addie Lednicki, Bailey Warren, Alexis James, Araya Watson, and Sydney Black about to step onto the floor. And when she steps on, someone will step off. The libero for for Fulcher is Sydney Black wears the white jersey and the orange libero jersey for the Spartans is worn by Megan Chapman there are a couple of twins on the team Sophia Duell and Claudia Duell but they are not identical they are fraternal twins but both girls all right we are ready to go seven legs to serve first and they brought their cheerleaders but for them, of course, it's not a very long trip. Katie is very close to Fulcher, and we are underway. Fulcher attacking on the first opportunity, and Lauren Winnie gets a winner. Bounces it off the forearms of the, the libero, Megan Chapman. 
And the service by number seven, Gracie Hoban, did not last very long. One to nothing, Fulcher, and now they serve. And it'll be Lauren Whitty putting it in play. Here it comes. Bumped up by Seven Lakes. And a set. Nice block by Fulcher, and the Chargers get the second point. Heidi Wingate was trying to tap one over, but great reflexes on the Fulcher side as Bailey Warren kind of put it back over the net and in Wingate's face. And now Lauren Witte serves again, overset by Seven Lakes. Bailey Warren hammered it, but it came back, and the second chance is good for Bailey Warren. Her first kill of the match, and it's three to nothing. Fulcher on top. Both coach Sidney Zimmerman of Fulcher and Amy Cataline of Seven Lakes up off the bench. It's playoff time. There's not a lot of sitting. Lauren Whitty ready to fire it. Here it comes. Back spin on it. Seven Lakes responding. Swing and a kill down the line. Successful by Lily Lott. The junior outside hitter. Lily Lott showed us what she's got. And that makes it three to one. The Spartans get within two and now they will serve. Megan Chapman, the libero, ready to fire. There it goes. Deep to the middle. Lednicki puts it in play. Now Sydney Black and a big swing by Bailey Warren, but she cannot get it down. Now a little tap over the block by Seven Lakes. They're skirmishing again now. Seven Lakes fires from the middle and they miss it. Gracie Hoban tried to fire one to the right sideline and it sliced out of bounds. Four to one, Fulcher on top. I'd like to say hello to Robert Tuton. He is the assistant football coach at Smithson Valley High School and Coach Sidney Zimmerman's dad. But mom Kathy is in the gym tonight. I got to meet her for the first time. All right, four to one, Fulcher. Make that five to one. Bailey Warren hammers one. And it ricocheted off of a defender and all the way to the back wall and and almost took out a couple of Seven Lakes cheerleaders. But they're smiling. It's okay. Five to one. Sydney Black ready to serve again for the Chargers. Knuckleball serve, and it's almost overset. Fulster keeps it aligned. Warren, big swing. Goes up in the air when they block it. Now Spartans attacking. Big swing. Hoban cannot get it down. Now a little tap over. Great save by Lednicki, and Bailey Warren tries one. Cannot get it down. Gracie Hoban setting it up. And now it's on the Seven Lakes side, and they get it over. Lauren Witte gets it in the air for Fulcher, and Warren another big swing. This is a great point, and we're just getting warmed up. Shane Voskuel sets it up. Now Warren a big swing, and Seven Lakes keeps it alive. That's amazing. Hoban taps it over with two hands. Now a setup and a quick set down by Alexis James. She took advantage of an overset that went very high and she was able to kind of make it look like she was about to, to set it. And then she just tapped it down with two hands and it's six to one. Sydney Black serves again, just gets it over to the net and that's an ace. Natalie Holloway. Got a fist on it, but it went sideways. And it's 7-1, Fulcher. You couldn't have a much better start than what the Charger girls have right now. Sydney Black wearing the black leotards just in case it gets cold in the gym here tonight. Gets it over the net with a serve. Now a swing and another winner. The second one of the game for Lily Lott. Lily Lott has provided the only points thus far for Seven Lakes. It is 7-2. And now guess who's coming in? It is the 6-4 freshman, Lana Okura. She's an imposing person there in the middle. Now the serve of Kate Kuhn. Fulcher ready to come back at him. Shane Voskuel taps it over. Now it's a... A Spartan's chance, big swing, does not get down. Now Bailey Warren is blocked by guess who? Okwara. She's quite an obstacle at 6-4. But I guess it fell on her side of the net. So she did block it, but it didn't go back over to the Fulcher side. Sorry about that. 8-2. Chargers leading. 
And now an overset by the Spartans, but they do keep it alive, and Bailey Warren hammers it. We got a whistle, and I'm looking at the official in the tall chair, and she says that... Oh, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if Bailey Warren's spike attempt brushed the red and white boundary antenna don't know doesn't matter anyway seven lakes is within eight to three and serving warren takes something off of it seven lakes keeps it alive will they set it up for okora no they just send it over without a lot of velocity now out of solo Aureki is blocked and that's a point for seven lakes they get within eight to four gracie hoban just a sophomore and very tall herself doesn't look that tall standing next to uh, Okura. From the middle, Bailey Warren gets the winner. And Folger gets a 9-4 lead and gets the serve back. We've got football later this week, as always, on Thursday night. It is straight Jesuit taking on the Foster Falcons. Then on Friday night... We've got Elkins and Hightower, both of those teams headed for the playoffs. And then on Saturday, we have a pair of games, and we'll tell you about that one eventually. All right, Fulcher attacking, and it's a beautiful block by Seven Lakes. I believe that happened so fast, but I believe it was Gracie Hoban who got the block, and if it wasn't her, then it was Heidi Wingate. But it's 9-5. to five. Seven Lakes trailing and serving and into the net. Claudia Duell hit the top tape and it fell on the Seven Lakes side. So now 10 to 5, Fulcher. Carly Carraway is off the bench and she will go straight to the bench to serve. Shane Voskule will take a break. Carly sends it deep to the middle. Seven Lakes bumps it over, and now a big swing and a winner for the Spartans. Heidi Wingate got on top of that one and got all of it. And it makes it 10-6. Okura comes out. Seven Lakes makes another substitution, bringing in Natalie Holloway to serve, and she'll serve from the middle of the baseline. There it goes. Warren bumps it up. Alexis James sets it up for Araya Watson, and she bangs it down, her first kill of the night. Eleven to six is our score. They haven't changed the scoreboard yet. There's the serve. Uh, it wasn't Caraway, it was Lednicki. And Seven Lakes gets the point off the Lednicki serve. I'm kind of wondering what happened after the Carly Caraway serve, and then they went to Lednicki. But anyway, uh, while I was kind of trying to figure that out, I didn't really see who got the Spartans' point. They are within 11 to 7. Gracie Hoban ready to serve. There it goes, bumped up by Warren. Now a set up for Lauren Whitty, and she fires it, but it's long. She didn't think so, but there won't be an argument or a a protest or a request for one of the other officials to look at it. Well, the, the corner line judge said it was out. Okay, well, it's a full sure point. All right, 12 to seven. And Witte served, but Fulcher, uh, but uh, Stratford, oh my goodness. <laughs> Stratford is the Spartans, but Seven Lakes gets the point. It was Lily Lott. Lily Lott is playing fantastic in this first game, but her team is down 12-8. to eight. Now Megan Chapman ready to serve, wearing the orange jersey, and her serve is long and also wide beyond the far sideline. The one to the server's left, and it's 13 to 8, Chargers. Now Sydney Black, her second opportunity to serve. Spins the ball, and here it comes. 
Bumped up nicely by Hoban. Now Lily Lott unable to jump, and she goes all the way across the court and it kind of sails on her. It's out of bounds. Point to the Chargers, 14 to 8, they lead it. Sydney Black lets it rip. Knuckle ball, but we're going to get a big swing by Lily Lott and a point to the Spartans of Seven Lakes. Alexis James blocked it, but it fell on the Fulcher side, so the score is now 14 to 9. And Kate Kuhn will serve. Everybody who served so far as a right hander, Kuhn puts it in play. Bumped up by Lednicki. Now a setup for Warren. And that's a winner. No, it's out. Fourteen to ten. Seven Lakes trying to inch closer. They've been behind from the outset. Kuhn's serve is a hard one to handle and an ace. It dives in front of Led Nicky. It had that split finger fastball action on it. And Seven Lakes is within fourteen to eleven. Kate Kuhn chopping her gum goes back to the baseline and ready to serve again. High toss. Lauren Whitty bumps it up from the middle near the baseline. Little tap over by Bailey Warren and it works. Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. And that was a little finesse from Bailey Warren to get a 15 to 11 lead and get full sure serving again. Alexis James serves. Stra uh, Seven Lakes responds, and it's a winner from little Claudia Duell. She's not real tall, but she plays big, and she got on top of that one in a beautiful kill that had a sharp downward angle on it. Gets Seven Lakes within 15 to 12. Now the serve from Sophia Duell. Bailey Warren from the far side does not get it down. A little tap over by Seven Lakes. And a quick tap by Alexis James does not surprise the Spartans. Great dig near the baseline by Lauren Whitty and a big swing by Bailey Warren. And she hits it out. Point to the Spartans. They're within 15 to 13. This is the closest they've been in a long, long time. Sophia Duell serves again. Fulcher needs to respond here. Big swing, Warren. She is blocked. And that's a point to the Spartans. Gracie Hoban sent it right back, and Fulcher wants a timeout. We'll take it with him. This is VibeFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Back to the action. 15 to 14. Fulcher's lead has shrunk to one point, and now we're tied because of a violation on the Fulcher Chargers. They look a little bewildered as to what it is. Evidently, there was a lift, so it is 15 to 15. Sophia Duell serves again. Witty bumps it up. James sets it up for Asola Adeleke. And a little behind the head tap for a winner for the Spartans. Oh my goodness. Claudia Duell with her back to the Chargers just kind of flicked the wrist and tapped it down. And this is the first lead for the Spartans. They're up 16 to 15. Bailey Warren sends one down the near sideline, but Spartans keep it alive. 
And a big swing and a winner for, Sp for the Spartans. Gracie Hoban drops one down and makes it 17 to 15. So coming out of the Fulcher timeout, Seven Lakes has scored twice. They are on a roll. Here's another serve, comes in hot, bumped up by Witte. And now a, a spike attempt by Warren hits the boundary pole on the near side. Three straight points and another Fulcher timeout. It is 18 to 15. We'll be right back on BikeFortBend.com. Mark your calendars. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalist Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Back to the action. Fulcher trying to get the momentum back, and the ball goes far beyond the sideline. And a great return by Fulcher, and it drops in. Fulcher needs some luck right now, and they got it right there. As it appeared that Megan Chapman and Gracie Hoban each thought the other was going to take the ball. But it fell to the floor, so a point to the Chargers gets them within 18 to 16. And now Bailey Warren, who always pats the ball like it's her pet before she serves, lets it go, comes in hot. Now the Spartans will return it. Ukwara was blocked, and now we have a whistle. And a point goes to Seven Lakes. They lead 19 to 16. This is the first ever season for the Fulcher Chargers in Class 6A in their first playoff match is uh, a dog fight already. Big swing, Bailey Warren, she hits it long. It is 20 to 16, and the Spartans are starting to smell a possible victory in the first set. Duel serves again, bumped up by Sydney Black. Now a set up in the middle and a winner for Shane Vostuhl. Fulcher really needed that when it gets the Chargers within 20 to 17. But they've got a string together several. And Carly Caraway comes off the bench to serve for the second time in this match. Here comes her serve. Comes in hot. It's a knuckleball. Almost overset. Now a big swing and a winner for Gracie Hoban. And that gets Seven Lakes another four-point lead. It is 21 to 17. And you can hear their full sure, uh, their, uh, their Seven Lakes cheerleaders right next to us as Seven Lakes is at the West End. All right, Fulcher needs to respond down 21 to 17. Lauren Whitty, big swing, comes right back at her. And there is a Rhea Watson, almost gets one down, but a great save by Natalie Holloway. Now it is Fulcher attacking. Yosola Adeleke taps it over the block, but Seven Lakes responds. There's another Hoban try for a spike. Cannot get it down. And Lauren Witte gets the winner. She reached way back because the set wasn't in an ideal spot. She didn't get to hit it hard. She has just had to flick the wrist. And it's a three-point game again, 21-18. to 18. And here comes the serve by Eddie Lednicki. Hoban sends it over. Now it's on the Fulcher side. Witte swings, and it's out. But did it touch fingertips? Yes, it did, and it's a point to the Chargers. They're within two, 21 to 19.
And now Seven Lakes wants a timeout. We'll take it with them on BiteFortBend.com. We'll be right back after this from Leonetti Graphics. Leonetti Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Leonetti Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Leonetti Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. I think about the first year after Fulcher moved up to Class 5A, they, they went through the playoffs, and until they got to the state final, they did not lose any sets except they lost two to one playoff opponent. I'm not sure exactly who it was. Coming out of the timeout, it's a kill for Heidi Wingate. And Seven Lakes is up 22 to 19. Gracie Hoban ready to serve. The sophomore looks over at Coach Amy Cataline, gets the signal. Ready to serve, and there it goes. Bumped up by Warren. Now, big swing by Lauren Witte, and that is down, despite a great diving attempt by Gracie Hoban. It's 22 to 20. For such a long time, Seven Lakes wasn't able to get within three, and then they did, and now they're ahead, and now Fulcher trying to close the gap. They're down 22 to 20. Hoban swings hard, and it's in. It is 23 to 20. Everybody has a game plan until they get punched in the face and the Fulcher girls are kind of maybe about to take a haymaker here in the first set. Bumped up by Led Nicky. Fulcher needs to respond. Big swing, Bailey Warren, and it is out. Point two, seven lakes. Game point. Set point, I should say, 24 to 20. Megan Chapman serves, there it goes, it is long. So the Chargers survive one set point, it's 24 to 21 and now Sydney Black will serve. They could use an ace, she came into the match with 52 on the year, here it comes. Take something off of it, Spartans bump it up. Big swing by Hoban, but Fulcher there with the defense. Bailey Warren, a winner! 24 to 22. Fulcher's still alive in this first set. Sydney Black likes to serve from the left side of the baseline. And she brings it. Knuckle ball bumped up by Hoban. Now a big swing by Lily Lott, but Fulcher keeps it off the floor. Now Bailey Warren, big swing. Off the block, it goes up. Spartans can hit it over, and they hit it out. Point to the Chargers. They get within one. They have fought off three set points, and there will be another one, but not before we have a timeout. BikeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTyronAuto.com. Our football lineup this week on VibeFortBend.com includes a Saturday doubleheader. On Thursday, we've got Foster and Straight Jesuit. On Friday night, Hightower and Elkins. Then at 11 a.m. on Saturday, it's Travis against Clements. Travis, a playoff team again. And then the night cap is Kempner against Friendswood. All right. Fulcher needs to fight off one more point so they can make it 24-all. Big swing, Bailey Warren, 
and it's a winner! It is 24-all! The Spartans had such a golden opportunity. They were up 24 to 20, so four straight set points fought off by the Chargers, and they keep serving with Sidney Black. Here it comes. Top spin on it. Now a setup for Lily Lott, and that's a winner for the Spartans. It goes off the block and down on the Fulcher side, and now it is set point again. And the server for Seven Lakes. Kate Kuhn. Her middle name is Avery. Set point. Pretty high toss. Let's it fly. Bumped up by Witte. Now a setup for Warren. And dug out by Seven Lakes. They will be able to send it back over. But Fulcher can now attack again. Warren! Big swing and down. And it went off the attempted block of Okura. She she kept it up, and Coach Catiline comes off the bench. She was saying to Kate Kuhn that she needed to be right up there behind the six foot four freshman, just in case that very thing happened. It is now 25 all, and Fulcher serving with Alexis James, almost an overset. Big swing by Lily Lott, dug out by Witte. Bailey Warren taps it over. Seven Lakes will be able to send it back over Lily Ott behind her head. Now Black. Now Alexis James. Now Shane Boscule, and she gets it with the gentle tap. Kind of scooped it over, and now it is 26-25 full sure. Oh, Seven Lakes was so close to capturing set one. But now Alexis James will serve, and Fulcher can finish it out. Curveball serve. Set up for Lily Lott. She's blocked. Sends it over. What a pinball play. Now it is Warren. And it's out. It is out. Point to the Spartans. We're tied again. 26 all. She went diagonal. Firing to the offensive right. Warren, now James, now in the middle, Lauren Witte gets a winner. Didn't have to crush it. Just found a little spot kind of in between Sophia Duell and Megan Chapman. And it's 27-26, full shirt. How about five sets of this? I know I don't want to go home and watch TV. I know that. Bailey Warren to serve and maybe finish it. Knuckleball, a nice dig by Seven Lakes. Now it's on the Fulcher side. A setup for Lauren Witte. Tried to tap it through the block. Now it's on the Fulcher side again. Witte hits it a little harder this time. Seven Lakes keeps it airborne. Now big swing. Oven! And it's a winner. We're tied one more time. It is 27 all. Gracie Hoban playing like a senior. She's just a sophomore. Claudia Duell now serves. We're tied at 27. It's in. Oh, it's into the net. Unforced error and Fulcher with an opportunity to put away set one finally. Carly Caraway comes off the bench for Shane Voskule and Carly will serve. Will I, Carly, get the winner? Here it comes. Bumped up by Hoban. They send it back to her. She tries to tap it through the block. Fulcher taps it over, it's a winner! Oh, what a hard-earned set one win, 29-27. Well, you're in 6A now, so you're going to be tested. Fulcher wins the first set, 29-27. We'll be back on BikeFortBend.com. Xfinity here, how can we help? Hi, um... My daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. 
Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Lee Nettie Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lee Nettie Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lee Nettie Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for non-stop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. As the teams get ready to go out there for the second set, let's look at rankings. The Texas VBI or Volleyball Insiders still have Byron Nelson out of the DFW at 33-1, ranked number one. Dripping Springs, also known as Drip, out of the Austin area, is 43-2. They're ranked second. The highest Houston area ranked team in Texas VBI is Stratford at 36-2. They're number three. Fulcher is at number five. Then you got Cinco Ranch, ranked number six. Pearland at seven. Grand Oaks at eight. Cy Ranch is number nine. The Woodlands, number ten. So a whole bunch of greater Houston teams in the top ten. Not all of them in Region 3, which is good. Ridgepoint, by the way, is at number 12 at 33 and 10 on the year and Bridgeland a region region 2 team is at number 14 and later on we'll talk about the TGCA that's the Texas Girls Coaches Association and we'll talk about what they've got going the Fulcher girls are still dancing still giddy over their comeback win they were down 24 to 20 and they won 29 to 27. So obviously they outscored Seven Lakes nine to three to close out that first set. So now the Fulcher girls at, are at the end of the floor closer to our table. Lauren Witte, Addie Lednicki, Alexis James, Araya Watson, Bailey Warren, and Sydney Black out on the floor for the purple clad chargers all purple except for sydney black who's wearing the white libero jersey and lauren witty serves to get it underway bumped up in the air by hoban she was great in that first set but it wasn't enough Araya watson taps one over 
Now fighting to keep it airborne. The Spartans send it back over. Now a back set for Araya Watson. She sends it deep to the baseline, but Spartans keep it airborne. And a big swing by Lily Lott. I am impressed a lot by Lily Lott. Goldie Lott. And she gets the first point of set number two. Looks like Sophia Duell is serving. No, instead it is uh, Kate Kuhn. Seven Lakes looking to set something up, but a whistle. And too many hits, or a double hit on the Spartans. Wait a minute. It, the scoreboard should say two to nothing. Sydney Black is serving. Okay, that's right. It's it's one to one. I'm sorry. And an overset after Sydney Black served. Seven Lakes overset it, and Bailey Warren just squashed it like a bug. Two to one. So the first point of this second set went to Fulcher, and then the oh my goodness. No, the uh, first one went to Seven Lakes, and then now Fulcher with two in a row. Lily Lott tries to go cross court, but Witty keeps it airborne, and now Bailey Warren hits it out off of the, the red and white boundary antenna on the left side, the far side. Two to two. And Sophia Duell ready to serve. Here comes her serve, knuckleball bumped up by Witty. Alexis James sets up Bailey Warren. She hits it hard, but Seven Lakes sends it over with one touch. And there's Alexis James with a creative little two-hand tap. Gets Fulcher the lead back, three to two. Daisy Voskule comes in. Addy Lednicki exits the floor. Alexis James looks at Coach Zimmerman. There goes the serve. Bumped up by Chapman. And that's a big swing by Hoban. Sophomore can't get it through the block, but she gets another chance. Goes cross court. Fulcher keeps it airborne. Daisy Voskule taps it over. Ukwara, the freshman. Now Hoban. She is blocked by Voskule, but it goes out of bounds, so the point goes to Seven Lakes. And we're tied at three. Fulcher won the first set 29 to 27. The spin and the serve of Claudia Duell. Alexis James back set. Shane Voskule, a kill. Moving quickly to her right. Heidi Wingate tried to block it, but it's tough to really put yourself in the right spot to, uh, to block something when the person coming at you is moving laterally. Four to three. Bailey Warren serves, comes in hot, and it's out. We're tied at four. By the way, I want to say a lot about the uh, Seven Lakes cheerleaders. We have our wonderful banners from Leonetti Graphics. And one side of them, one side of the banner at the east end fell down. And the girl put it back up for us. And it wasn't even her fault that it was down. Just so sweet. Very classy. More so than Ron Burgundy. And a point for Seven Lakes. I'm done telling uh, stories about the Seven Lakes cheerleaders. But uh, I was impressed by just how nice they were. Okay. They, uh, their Spartans lead at 5-4, to four, and now there's the serve from Natalie Holloway. Now a setup for Lauren Witte. She hammers it. It's down between defenders' arms, and we're tied again, 5-5. Five to five. Carly Carraway off the bench to serve. Daisy Voskule, I'm sorry, uh, Shane Voskule comes out. Carly bounces it with two hands, now fires. Deep to the middle, bumped up by Chapman. Big swing by Hoban. Almost overset it, now Daisy Voskule hammers it. Deep to the corner, dug out by Hoban. And we got a whistle. Too many hits on the Seven Lakes side. Point to the Chargers, and they lead 6-5. to five. They're up one set to none. 
in this by district best out of five match. Carly Caraway serves. Now the Spartans going to hammer it with Hoban. Warren bumps it up almost to the rafters. Now she has to do the no look bounce over. And it's in for Seven Lakes. A winner by Hoban. She's been terrific tonight, and she ties up this this set at 6-6. And now she will serve. Lily Lott comes in. And Claudia Duell, no, I'm sorry, at uh, Sophia Duell taking a seat. Hoban ready, lets it fly, just gets it over. Nice dig by Warren. Witty gets to hammer it. It comes back, but Fulcher keeps it airborne. Witty another swing, and it's down. Three different Spartans in desperation touched it and kept it off the floor, but then it found the hardwood. Addie Lednicki comes in to serve. Daisy Voskul comes out. She and Shane have their ponytails done exactly the same, which is nice. Sisters, so sweet. Seven to six. Fulcher on top. Now Spartans trying to send it back. Hoban deep to the middle. Warren digs it out. Now a big swing for Witty. Takes it easy and gets the winner anyway. Sometimes you got to throw the change up. It's eight to six. Addie led Nikki. Ready to serve. There it goes. Bumped up. Now a nice swing and a winner for Seven Lakes. It is Heidi Wingate. Fulcher's lead cut to eight to seven and now Megan Chapman will serve. The right-hander fires it, bumped up by Lednicki. Now Alexis James, now Witty, whistle. And a double hit on the Fulcher side. Gives Seven Lakes its eighth point of this set. It's eight to eight. Chapman to serve again. Here it comes. Led Nikki. Now James set up in the middle for Araya Watson and a kill. Kind of a mismatch with the shorter Claudia Duell in the middle of the net. And Lauren Witte now serves, leading nine to eight. The Voskule sisters are always taking care of me. Yes, everything's great. Couldn't be better. All right. Nine to eight. And there is Lily Lott. She sends it over in a great save by Black. Now Bailey Warren hits it hard. Somehow Fulcher keeps it off the floor. Bailey Warren back over her head with two forearms. Now Seven Lakes attacks Lily Lott and a killer. Lily the Killy. Nine to nine. And Kate Kuhn will go and serve. Pronounces her name like former Major League Baseball Commissioner Bowie Kuhn. But she has an E in her last name, and he didn't. All right, Fulcher returning serve. Bailey Warren sends it over, but now Seven Lakes can attack again. Lily Lott, spike attempt, blocked by Fulcher. Araya Watson, spike attempt, blocked by Seven Lakes. Now big swing, Araya Watson. That puts away the point. It is 10 to 9. Ooh, 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 indeed. I guess uh, it's kind of hard to come up with a chant that matches the Chargers. No one can, if you can whinny and sound like a horse, you can't do it very loud. Loudly, I guess I should say. Lily Lott. She gets a spike winner, and that ties it at 10. The cheerleaders are afraid of the ball. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the ball. I'm just afraid of it breaking my laptop. All right, 10 to 10, and a serve by Sophia Duell of Seven Lakes, and it ends up being a Seven Lakes point. They could not handle her serve. It was not dug out properly. So it's 11 to 10, Seven Lakes. Sophia serves again. Led Nikki bumps it up into the air. Now a setup for Bailey Warren, who doesn't hit it hard. Seven Lakes can return it. That was uh, Hoban, could not get it to go down. And now the freshman, 
gets the uh, winner. That was the freshman Ukwara. She hammered it. And Daisy Voskiel blocked it, but it fell on the Fulcher side. So point to Seven Lakes. It is 12 to 10. We'll take a break and be back on VibeFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. All right, let's see if the fortunes change for the Chargers. Yes, they do immediately. Coming out of the timeout, they get the first point. And they're within 12 to 11, and now Alexis James. I believe she's committed to Howard University. She's ready to serve, and there it goes. Nice dig by Megan Chapman. Seven Lakes sends it over, and an overset by Fulcher, and now a set up for Ukwara, but the freshman hits it into the net, and we're tied at 12. Alexis James looks over at Coach Zimmerman, who's wearing the, the cream-colored top and the light purple slats. 12-12. Now it's on the full sure side. They try to take the lead in this second set. Bailey Warren swings hard. It comes back at full sure. Big quick tap over by Sydney Black, but sent back over by Seven Lakes. What a great point this is. Black sets up Warren, taps it over the defense, and gets it down. Point Chargers, they lead now 13 to 12. They have scored three straight points. Alexis James lets it fly. And it's overset by Seven Lakes, but then Shane Voskuel does the same. Now it's on the Seven Lakes side. Both teams have missed an opportunity. Now a little tap over by Hoban, and it ends up a winner. Alexis James got it airborne, but only about four feet up. And it fell, so we're tied. Seven Lakes and Fulcher. It's 13 to 13. Here comes the serve of Claudia Duell. And now a setup for Bailey Warren. She hammers it. It's blocked right back at her. And it is a point to the Chargers because... It went out of bounds after the block. Bailey Warren. Pats the ball. Just like you pat the bunny, you know, when you're putting a little kid to bed. 14 to 13. And now a little tap over try by Seven Lakes. That was Claudia Duell. Could not get it down. Now it's on the Seven Lakes side again. They trail 14-13. Ukwara is blocked. The 6'4 freshman cannot get it over Shane Boskuel. And it is Fulcher leading 15 to 13. They have scored five of the last six points. They had been down 12 to 10. Bailey Warren ready to serve again. There it goes. She took something off of it, took way too much off of it, and went into the net. Like a wounded duck. But that's okay. 15 to 14. Spartans now on top. From the middle of the baseline, Natalie Holloway to serve. Here it comes. Bumped up by Black. She overset it into the net. That is a point for the Spartans. And we're tied at 15. Natalie Holloway. 
Serves. Bailey Warren, she oversets it into the net on two consecutive points. The full sure Chargers don't handle the serve very well, and now they're, they went from leading 15-14 to trailing 16-15. Holloway brings it. Warren bumps it up. It's beyond the boundary, but James sets up Daisy Buskill and Daisy with an improvisation. Very nice by the junior. And that ties it at 16. Carly Carraway and her brunette ponytail come back onto the floor to serve. Shane Voskuel comes out, so does Sydney Black. So we've got Carly Carraway, Bailey Warren, Lauren Witte, Sydney, Alexis James, Daisy Voskuel, and Araya Watson, who just banged that down. Fulcher leads 17 to 16. They're up one set to none. They won the first one, it was a struggle. It was 29 to 27. Now Carly Carraway, who is not very tall, they kind of bounced it to her and it bounced over her head. And she sheepishly retrieves the ball. All right, now she serves. Stratford, um, I keep calling them Stratford, they are the Spartans. All right, Seven Lakes has it on their side for the second time during this point. And a spike attempt goes out. That was Heidi Wingate. She tried to get on top of it, didn't really. It's a two point lead for Fulcher, 18-16. Timeout, Seven Lakes, we'll be back. We're in the second set, Fulcher up one to none. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston this January. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players, from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars, with the action kicking off on January 9th. Visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Carly Caraway serving the first point out of the timeout for Fulcher, and they get that one. So they're up by three, 19 to 16, and they have seized the momentum here in set number two after miraculously pulling out set number one. Caraway serves again. She got all of that one and not in a good way. It is long and wide of the near sideline. Shane Voskule off the bench replaces Caraway. No, she doesn't. She comes off. I'm, I'm confused. All right. One, two, three, four. Okay. There are six players out there for Fulcher. I'll tell you who they are in a moment. Served by Hoban. It is 19 to 17. Now Daisy Bastule with a clean kill. Makes it 20 to 17. Daisy Bastule, they just made another change. So I'll tell you that Addie Lednicki, Sydney Black, Lauren Witte, Alexis James, Bailey Warren, and Araya Watson are on the floor for the Chargers. They lead it 20 to 17. Lednicki serves with top spin. Picked up by Hoban. Now a big swing by Wingate and a beauty. She was sliding to her right and hit it. It's always tougher to be moving sideways and get the clean contact on the ball and Wingate was perfect there to make it 20 to 18. Chapman now serves. Dug out by Lednicki. Witty gets a chance, but she's not close to the net. She finds a beautiful spot. A nice secluded spot with nobody on it. She went diagonal over the net with a little bit of, uh, you know, humpback action. She didn't hammer it. It's 21 to 18, and Witty now serves. There it goes. No spin whatsoever. 
Spartans gonna hammer it back with Lily, Lily Lott. She shows us what she's got again and gets another kill. She's awesome. Lily Lott, just a junior. Seven Lakes is going to be very hard to handle next year. Not that they're finished this year. Kate Kuhn serves with her team trailing 21-19. The bump goes all the way back over the net. And Ukora, the freshman, taps one down. I believe that is her first kill of the match. 21-20. She gets her team within one. Here comes the serve of Kate Kuhn. And it's a point for the Seven Lakes Spartans. They have tied the second set at 21. They would want to return the favor as Fulcher came back on them to capture set one. Kuhn ready to serve again. Here it comes. No sir, no spin, and it is long. It sailed over the baseline by about a foot. Unforced error is a break for the Chargers. They lead 22 to 21. Araya Watson just came out and Shane Voskuel came in for her. Shane's the middle blocker with Bailey Warren right behind her as Sydney Black serves. And somehow Seven Lakes gets it over. Now Bailey Warren, big swing and down. Bang, zoom, but not to the moon. 23-21. Fulcher closing in on a set two win, but first, timeout, seven lakes. You'll be right back on bikefortbend.com. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 181 20 West Belfort. Visit the volleyballschool.com and come train with us. Coming out of the timeout, a beautiful tap down by Shane Voskuel puts the Chargers at set point for set number two. Sydney Black serves and it's into the net. So, Seven Lakes, when you're down 24 21, you got to fight off three set points. And now they will turn to Sophia Duell. Here comes her serve with top spin. Lauren Witte, Alexis James, Bailey Warren. She has it blocked back at her. And it is a point to the... Okay. It's a point to the Spartans. It's 24-23. They have fought off two set points. And Sophia Duell will... Serve again, and it drops between Witty and Lednicki. You're tied at 24. So we're going to the volleyball version of deuce in tennis in consecutive sets. And now Sophia Duell ready to serve. It is Lednicki bumps it up. Alexis James, Bailey Warren, and she hit it out. It is now set point for Seven Lakes. And the Chargers are going to take a timeout themselves. They try to save the second set. They pulled out the first one, and now they're, they're on the verge of, of blowing a lead and losing this second one. Good time to mention our football schedule this week. Thursday night, special kickoff, 6 p.m. from Trailer Stadium as Foster faces straight Jesuit. 
Then on Friday night, Elkins and Hightower, a battle of two teams that have both qualified for the playoffs. They'll both be in Class 6A Division II. That's on Friday night. And then on Saturday, we have a doubleheader. The first game is at 11 a.m. It is Travis and Clements. And then at 6 p.m., Kempner and Friendswood. Kempner, what an up-and-down season. They won their first three. They lost five in a row. And last Saturday, we broadcasted their win at Pasadena. They're at four and five. They can have a break-even season. All right. Fulcher's got to get this point to save the second set and keep it prolonged. Led Nikki up in the air. Now James, now Warren. And a great save by Chapman. Now a big swing. And Black digs it out. Now Witty. Now it is Bailey Warren who bumps it over. And the Spartans will attack. Big swing in the middle by Hoban. Blocked by Fulcher. It's on the uh, Spartan side again. Now it's on the Fulcher side. Warren off fingertips. And one more hit to get it over. And it's a winner for the Spartans. They take set two. It is Hoban who made the great play again. She's been fantastic tonight. They win the second one, 26 to 24. We'll be back on BiteFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. Okay, we're back and getting ready for set number three. But uh, I have a score to report for you, and it involves Pearland, which the winner of this match could potentially face in round three, more than likely one week from tonight. Pearland has defeated the Travis Tigers in a sweep, 25-21, 25-10, and 25-21. So Pearland... Lost the coin flip and they had to go to 11111 Harlem Road in Richmond and take on the Travis Tigers. And they were more than equal to the task. So I am I'm just kind of looking at a couple of things on my email so that maybe I can. Uh, do something interesting for you give you some interesting information we'll take another uh, I was about to take another break but the buzzer has gone and we are ready to play set number three Roger Smith along the along with the lovely and talented Rosie Vega inside the mothership at Vipe World Headquarters a Rosie by some other name would not smell as sweet all right so Fulcher 
was kind of lucky to take the first set, 29 to 27, and they should have won the second set. They dropped that one, 26-24. So we know that we're going to go at least four sets here tonight. And who knows, maybe we will go longer. By the way, during a timeout during this game, I will go over the rankings by the Texas Girls Coaches Association. They put out their final regular season rankings. They did that officially Sunday, but I didn't see them on the website until, well, I, I didn't, I looked yesterday and they weren't there yet. And I looked this morning and, well, there they were. All right, so Seven Lakes will serve to begin set three. And you cannot squash the spirit of the Fulcher girls. They just dropped set number two. But they're having fun because joy is what they do. And it's not baseless joy. I mean, it's joy for a reason. All right, Megan Chapman in the orange libero jersey starts set three for Seven Lakes. Now Fulcher will send it back over. Araya Watson is blocked. And it was Lily Lott. First point of the third set goes to Seven Lakes. There is a serve by Chapman, ticks the top of the net, goes over. Now Lauren Witte tries to get one down inside the defense, but Seven Lakes sends it back over. Now Sydney Black sets up Alexis James, and one goes all the way up to the rafters. Seven Lakes sends it over with a little tap by Lily Lott, but it goes out, and the point goes to the Chargers. It is one-to-one. -one. Lauren Witte ready to serve. First service opportunity of this third set for Fulcher. Lily Lott hammers it. Lauren Witte near the baseline, keeps it alive, and there is a swing by Bailey Warren, and it gets down for a Fulcher point. They lead two to one. So the winner of this match is going to play Bel Air. Bel Air won its match over Jersey Village last night. There weren't too many Monday matches. Lily Lott hammers one for Seven Lakes, but Fulcher keeps it off the floor. Bailey Warren hammers one, and she puts it beyond the baseline. Point to Seven Lakes makes it 2-2. Two to two. And now the server is Kate Kuhn. Knuckleball serve, bumped up by Lednicki. They overset it, but it's a Fulcher point. Going up and trying to get it is Claudia Duell, the little girl who plays big, but she could not get it through Alexis James. So it's a point to the Chargers. They lead 3-2. Now Sydney Black to serve. She's the best server on the team. With 52 aces coming in. Seven Lakes responding. Set up for Lily Lott. She is blocked. Point to the Chargers. Daisy Voskule, big old obstacle, no way to get it through her that time. Four to two the score, Fulcher leading. Sydney Black ready. Here comes her serve, bumped up by Lott, but it goes backwards. Great save by Chapman, and they get it over. That's amazing by Hoban. Now Fulcher attacks. Alexis James just tried to tap it over and surprise him. Now the freshman. Fires can't get it down. Bailey Warren cross court and Seven Lakes digs it out. Now Lily Lott, another winner. Four to three, Seven Lakes will not go away. They trail by one in this third set. The two teams have split the first two. Now Sophia Duell ready to serve. Here goes her serve. Dug out by Led Nikki and a setup for Bailey Warren. She hits it hard. Chapman keeps it off the floor. And that's a point for Fulcher as uh, Claudia Duell tried to tap it over. 
And there were Folster Chargers waiting there to block it anyway, but she hit it into the net. So it is five to three, Folster and Alexis James now ready to serve. Here it comes with a little backspin and the dig goes sideways into the very placid uh, football playing boys who have come to the game. I thought they would be a little more rowdy. They don't have a game this week, by the way. Folsher has completed its regular football season with a per- uh, perfect record of 10-0. and Alexis James serving with her team leading 6-3. Now Seven Lakes trying to respond. Big swing. Hoban, and it's a winner. It goes off Folsher fingertips near the net. And Seven Lakes gets within 6-4, to four and they get the serve back. Chapman goes to the bench. Claudia Duell ready to serve. There it goes. Bumped up by uh, Witty. Daisy Voskul. Oh, she hammered that one. And I think she uh, all but knocked Claudia Duell down with it. They got a dollop of Daisy. And it was too much. Seven to four. Fulcher leads it. One set to one. Bailey Warren serves. Bumped up by Hoban. Now a set up for Claudia Duell in the middle, but they can't get it over. It's blocked by Daisy Vosduel. And a nice attempt by Okura, the freshman for Seven Lakes, to try and rescue the point. But it goes to the Chargers, and they lead it 8-4. to four. Bailey Warren patting the ball, and here we go. Coming in kind of hot. Hoban, now a set up for Ukwara. It comes right back at her. They keep it alive, but then it falls on the Seven Lakes side. Fulcher has some momentum now, leading 9-4. Now the serve by Warren. She takes something off of it. It is bumped all the way over. Fulcher can really hammer on this one. Big swing, Witty. it comes back. Black, now James, now Daisy Voskul taps it over. Ukwara sends it beyond the sideline, but Seven Lakes rescues it. Now Warren, now James, now Shane Voskul off fingertips, and that is a winner. Fulcher up 10 to four. All of a sudden, like an ice cream cone in July, they are all over. The Seven Lakes Spartans. Bailey Warren spins the ball and fires it. Just sent it over the top of the net. And Seven Lakes in an urgency rescues the point. But in the end, Fulcher. Oh, wait a minute. They get the point there. The scoreboard says Seven Lakes got it. Okay, they did. 10-5. to They won that battle at the net. I was mistaken on which side of the net the ball had fallen on. Is that good sentence structure? I don't know. Anyway, Seven Lakes trailing 10 to 5 and serving. Lauren Witte down the near sideline, and it's a winner. She really surprised the Spartans. They thought they would send the she would send the ball to the middle. And Carly Caraway comes off the bench to serve. As usual, Daisy Voskul takes a seat when they make that move. Caraway the knuckleball serve. Now a set up in the middle by Wingate. It's a winner because it went off. No, it's, yeah, it is a winner because it went off of Fulcher fingertips. So the score is now Fulcher 11, seven late six, and the Spartans will serve. Gracie Hoban. The tall, lean sophomore sends the serve over. Bumped up by uh, Bailey Warren. And then an unforced error by Araya Watson. Alexis James had set her up. It was a good set. But she just mishit it. And now Seven Lakes gets within four. It's 11 to seven. Hoban serves, takes a pretty big leap as she does so. And it's an ace. It went sideways off of Warren, and Alexis James could not rescue it. Seven Lakes 
Getting too close for comfort, so Sidney Zimmerman, Fulcher head coach, calls a timeout with a score 11 to 8. We'll be right back. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. All right, back to action. Seven Lakes is creeping up on the Fulcher Chargers in the third set. And hitting it long is Daisy Voskul, wide of the near sideline and long. And now Seven Lakes is within 11 to 9. Hoban ready to serve again for Seven Lakes. They're within two. Witty bumps it up. Now they'll set it up for her again. She tries to go down the sideline, but Seven Lakes keeps it alive. Now Hoban hammers it, and it is beyond the baseline, so a point to the Chargers, 12 to nine. They didn't really earn it, but they'll take whatever they can get. We're in the third set, tied at one set apiece. And Fulcher leading 12 to nine. And Lednicki serves. They almost overset it, battle at the net. One more chance for the Chargers, for the uh, Spartans to get it over, and they don't. So Fulcher gets a point there, 13 to nine, they lead it. Seven Lakes, the third playoff qualifier out of District 196A, and they've been tough to handle. Now a setup for Wingate, she's blocked! Point for Lauren Witte, Araya Watson was right there just in case Lauren needed help. And it's 14 to nine. Addie led Nikki ready to serve it again. Here it comes, and it is long. Great save by the cheerleader. Saving herself. 14 to 10. Fulcher still on top, but Seven Lakes gets the service, service back with Megan Chapman. She's a junior. So many players on the Seven Lakes team will be back next year. Underspin on the serve, and now Fulcher trying to send it back. Witty, the winner. Her dad, the major league pitcher, Trey Witty, wants blue hitters away with the velocity, and she does the same right there. So it is 15 to 10, Fulcher on top. And have we lost the ball? Yes, we did. Uh, Hoban had to go, well, she had to go somewhere where we couldn't see her to retrieve the ball. Okay, 15 to 10, and Witty serving again. Here it comes. With underspin, now a setup in the middle for Hoban. She taps it over, and now it is Araya Watson who puts away another point for the Chargers. Araya set up by Alexis James. And it's 16 to 10. Timeout. Seven Lakes, they're down by six. We'll be right back. We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Mark your calendars. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. 
led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball, get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. Back to the action, and another point for the Chargers coming out of the Seven Lakes timeout. They lead, they, the Chargers, lead 17 to 10. And a pretty good service run for Lauren Witte. Here is her next serve, and it goes backwards after Hoban touched it, but somehow Seven Lakes gets it over. Now back set for Araya Watson. Her spike goes down between two defenders. One of them was Lily Lott, and the other was Will Trace Engo. 18 to 10. Fulcher pulling away a little bit here in the third set. But the match is even one set apiece. And it is a spike attempt down the line by Seven Lakes' is Kate Kuhn, but she can't get it in. It's sliced out of bounds. 19 to 10 is the score. Seven Lakes wants another timeout. We'll take it with them on VikeFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Back to live action. Lily Lott hammers it. It almost gets down in the middle, but Fulcher keeps it alive. Now Bailey Warren hits it hard and is dug out by Chapman. Now Lily Lott, another spike attempt, and that one works. Beautiful angle, very shallow, humpback action on it, and it somehow got inside the baseline. Seven Lakes with a clutch point. They trail 19 to 11. Nobody's going to be eliminated in this set. We know we're going to go at least four. Kate Kuhn bumps it up, or she served it. Fulcher bumps it up, and that ends up being a Fulcher point. A little bit of luck there as the ball ran along the top of the net like a squirrel for a moment, and it fell on the Seven Lakes side. So Fulcher now leads 20 to 11. Sydney Black ready, serves it. Bumped up by Okwura. Now Bailey Warren down the sideline, and that's a winner. Okwura got part of it, but could not block it back to the other side. So it's 21 to 11. Fulcher leading. Sydney Black will serve it up again. Here it comes. Bumped up by Hoban. She'll get a chance to send it back over with a humpback spike. Now it is Fulcher. Bailey Warren hits it hard. It's in. Looked like it touched the top of the net, but it did not fly out. So it's 21 to 12. No, I'm sorry. That point went to uh, Seven Lakes because Sophia Duell is serving now, but she serves it right into the net. And it is 22 to 12, and Fulcher gets the serve right back. Alexis James goes. Uh, Alexis James goes to the baseline. So on the floor, you've got Sydney Black, Alexis James, the Voskul sisters, Bailey Warren, and Lauren Witte. Alexis serves it. Kind of a curveball. They can't handle it. It's an ace. 
She got a very subtle counterclockwise spin on it. And it broke away from Chapman. 23 to 12. Chargers in good shape here in the third set. Hoban bumps it way up into the air. And somehow Seven Lakes sends it over. Alexis James sets up. Daisy Boscu. No, Shane Boscu. And Shane puts it away to make it 24 to 12. We have set point for the Chargers. And Alexis James gets ready to serve it out. Playing the role of closer. Down the far sideline, bumped up by Hoban. They send it back to Hoban. First by Tempest, dug out by Black. Now Bailey Warren hammers it, but she is blocked. In the middle, it's Will Trace Ingo. And it's 24 to 13. Long, long, long way to go to climb out of this one and rescue set number three, but Seven Lakes competing hard. Now there is the serve by Miranda Alejandria. And she has an unforced error on her serve, and just like that, it is over. Well, set three is over, 25 to 13. And Fulcher will come to the west end and play right in front of us and hopefully put this away. But Seven Lakes, they signed up for five. We'll be right back. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTyronAuto.com Mark your calendars. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for non-stop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Lee Netty Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lee Netty Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lee Netty Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. Okay, we're about to begin the fourth set, and I didn't tell you about that rankings information that I promised during set three, so I'll do it right now. We're just about to begin set four. So in the uh, Texas Volleyball Insiders, it's uh, the, their poll is always very different from the Texas Girls Coaches Association poll. So I gave you the VBI one before and the Texas Girls Coaches Association poll that came out Sunday. Um, 
They they have Dripping Springs out of Austin, ranked number one, and Byron Nelson, ranked number two. They're out of the DF dub. But that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, uh, so that's just the opposite of Texas VBI. Cinco Ranch out of Katy is the third best team in the state in Class 6A, according to TGCA. Stratford is four. Grand Oaks is five. And then they have three other non-Houston area teams, and Fulcher is ranked ninth. So Fulcher is four spots lower in the TGCA poll than they are in the VBI. And then Pearland Dawson is at number 13 in TGCA, but not ranked at all by VBI. And Pearland is not ranked at all by VBI, but they are in the TGCA poll at number 16. And then you got Cy Ranch. So in the top 17 spots, uh, let's see, TGCA has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Houston area teams, but not all of them are in Region 3. Some of them we might see, you know, in the state championship round. All right, so Fulcher ready to begin the fourth set, and they hope close it out in the by district round. On the floor for them, Araya Watson, Sydney Black, Addie Lednicki, Alexis James, Bailey Warren, and Lauren Witte. We love you. Lauren Witte will serve to start this fourth set. Wipes her serving hand on the bottom of her right shoe, and now we're underway. In the middle, big swing and down for Will Trace Ingo. No, it's long. It's long. Point to the Chargers. They lead 1-0. Whitty is ready, lets it fly. Nice sinker ball, just got it over the net and Seven Lakes couldn't keep it airborne. It is two to nothing, Fulcher. Coach Zimmerman stands up and gives a signal to Whitty, ready to serve again. There it goes, bumped up by Hoban. Hoban will get a chance to hammer it, but Fulcher keeps it off the floor. Now Bailey Warren down the far sideline, dug out very nicely by Seven Lakes. And Lily Lott almost got a winner. Bailey Warren hammers it. That is a winner. Makes it 3 to nothing. Fulcher. She went cross court from the left side of the net, going for that far right corner, and it bounced off a couple of forearms and then almost bounced into the concession stand. Three to nothing, Fulcher. And I'm not sure what the delay is, but now the official in the elevated chair says go ahead. Here goes Lauren serve, deep to the middle. Bumped up nicely by Natalie Holloway. Big swing by Lily Lott, and she scores. Lily Lott has been the most consistent offensive attacker in this match for Seven Lakes. And they bring in the 6'4 freshman, Lana Okwura. Now the server is Kate Kuhn. Sinker ball served, dug out by Lednicki. Chance for Warren to swing hard, and she does, but it bounces off the top of the net and beyond the sideline. Point to Seven Lakes. They trail 3-2. Kuhn ready to serve again. Pretty high toss. Bumped up by Witte. Now Alexis James with a quick set. And too many hits on the uh, Seven Lakes side or a double hit by the player in the middle, the freshman, Okwura. So Fulcher gets a fourth point. Four to two, they lead it. Sydney Black in the white libero jersey ready to serve. Here it goes, comes in hot. Nice dig by Chapman. Swing by Hoban and she gets it over Lednicki and down. That's a point for Seven Lakes there within four to three. Lily Lott comes off. And she's replaced by Sophia Duell. Sophia serving right in front of the Seven Lakes cheerleaders. And a little knuckleball serve that Fulcher handles and Bailey Warren is blocked. And that is Ingo does it again. 
will trace in go. She's just a sophomore. I'm telling you, this Seven Lakes team, if they don't survive this evening, they can be very excited about the group that they have coming back during 2025. But they're not done here. It is four to four, and they're trying to stay alive here in the fourth set. Now Bailey Warren on top of it, but it's good. I was about to say, but it's out. But the man in the corner who had a great view of it said, it's good. Bailey Warren with another kill. She averages almost five per set. Now Alexis James is going to serve for Fulcher, which leads five to four. There it goes with some counterclockwise spin. Seven Lakes going to send it back. Hoban is blocked. Shane Voskuel. I love to watch the family connections, and you got Shane and Daisy playing right there shoulder to shoulder. The sisterhood of the purple jersey. Six to four, Fulcher leads. Chapman digs out the serve from Alexis James. Ingo tries to get one down, but she is blocked. Bailey Warren said, not so fast, my friend, and it's seven to four, Fulcher. Alexis James pounds the ball a couple of times. Now she's ready to serve. There it goes. Bumped up nicely by Duell, Sophia Duell. Now Sydney Black setting it up for Bailey Warren. Gets on top of it. A lot of overspin, but Sophia Duell keeps it in the air. Now a big swing by Hoban. Now it's on the Fulcher side. Daisy Voskuel hammers it. It comes right back at her. On the Fulcher side, Bailey Warren. Little tap over the defense, and it's out. So a point to the Seven Lake Spartans. They're within seven to five. Good idea by Bailey, but she just flicked it a little bit too far to the left and it went out of bounds. Claudia Duell now to serve. It's on its way, no spin whatsoever. Almost overset by Warren. Daisy Voskuel! A dollop of Daisy gives him an eight to five lead. She has such joy the way she plays. And whenever she does something good, I mean, she's just beaming. Bailey Warren now serving with Fulcher leading eight to five sinker ball serve, but Seven Lakes keeps it off the floor. Now Hoban sends it to the middle and Warren bumps it up back to Lauren Whitty as she is blocked. Point to Seven Lakes. Perfect block by Heidi Wingate. Spartans just will not go away quietly. They trail eight to six, trying to extend the match to a fifth game. Natalie Holloway serves. Black, James, Shane Voskuel off fingertips and a winner for Fulcher. That makes it nine to six. Carly Carraway and Araya Watson come in. Shane Voskuel and Sydney Black come out. Carly Carraway ready. The diminutive one serves. Chapman digs it out on the Seven Lake side. And Wingate tries to tap one over, but Fulcher is there with the defense. Daisy Voskuel is blocked. Another point to Seven Lakes. And Wingate got her again. Nine to seven. The Spartans within two. Daisy Voskuel comes right back in for Carly Carraway. No, actually it was uh, Daisy that came in for her, not Shane. All right. Hoban serves for Seven Lakes, but she hits it into the net. I know she'd like that one back. 10-7 Fulcher. Addie led Nikki off the bench, and now Daisy Voskuel comes out. Addie is ready. There it goes. Dug out nicely. And a miscommunication. Wingate thought the set was going to be more where she was. Uh, 
The setter was expecting her to move to her right. That was Natalie Holloway. 11-7 Fulcher. Lednicki serves again. Deep to the middle. Bumped up by Hoban. Now a setup for Lily Lott. It's a point for the Spartans. It was blocked by Fulcher. Araya Watson was right in front. But it went sideways and out of bounds when it came back over the net. So that makes it 11-8. Seven Lakes down by three. And Megan Chapman will serve. Keeps her feet on the floor as she does. Fulcher sends it right back over. Lily Lott, spike attempt. It comes right back at her. Alexis James with the block. Gets another four-point lead for the Chargers, 12 to 8. So they are 13 points away from punching their ticket to the second round. They'll play the Bel Air Cardinals. Lauren Witte serves it over. Now Lily Lott goes cross court, dug out by Warren. They send it back to Warren. She taps it over. That's a winner. Thirteen to eight, and a timeout is taken by Seven Lakes. We'll take it with them on VikeFortBend.com. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball, get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalist Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. Seven Lakes taking a long time in their timeout huddle. Now they're back out there and ready to receive Lauren. Lauren's serve. It is 13 to 8. Fulcher on top trying to put it away in this fourth set. And coming out of the timeout, Lily Lott gets a winner. Her spike attempt is blocked, but blocked over the scorer's table. So they get within 13 to 9. And they'll call upon Kate Kuhn to serve. Here comes her serve, bumped up by Lednicki. Alexis James with a set across the court to Bailey Warren, who hammers down the spike. Got a nice lucky bounce off the top of the net. It's 14 to nine, Fulcher. 11 points away from making their way into the area round. Sydney Black serves. In the middle, it is Ingo, cannot get it to go down, and a two-hand tap down by Alexis James of Fulcher. She rose up, and the ball was hovering high, and she just tapped it down. That's not what they expected. 15-9 Fulcher, and now Sydney Black's going to serve from uh, the right side of the baseline. Now she changes her mind and moves over to the left like she usually, that's her usual spot. Bumped up by Lily Lott. Now big swing by Ingo, and it's down. Point for Seven Lakes. They get back within 15 to 10. And the next server is Sophia Duell. Here comes her serve, not a lot of spin on it. Alexis James sets up Bailey Warren down the far sideline and good. It brushed somebody's arm at the net, so even if it had not fallen inside the sideline, it would have been fine. 16 to 10. Alexis James now serving. From the right side of the baseline. There goes her serve. Bumped up by Hoban. They send it back to Hoban. The sophomore cannot get really on top of it. Now Daisy Voskuel, she can't get on top of it either. And Seven Lakes is going to send it to Engo. Point by Engo and the Spartans. 
They get within 16 to 11. She didn't spike that one down. She just kind of flicked it over. Chargers with the Voskule sisters, Alexis James, Sydney Black, Lauren Witte, and Bailey Warren out there. Served by Claudia Duell. Alexis James back set for Shane Voskule. Looked for an empty spot, but Seven Lake sent it back over. James to Warren. Taps it down. Seven Lake saves it again. Hoban to the middle. Now Witte bumps it up for James and Shane Voskule. And that's a winner for Fulcher. They now lead it 17 to 11. They're doing that, uh, you know, fallout boy little spin dance thing, or they did. It never lasts very long. You got to get ready for the next point. Bailey Warren serves. Bumped up by Hoban. And now a tap in the middle by Wingate. She cannot get it down. Black sets it up for Lauren Witte. She hits it over a block and gets it down. 18 to 11 full shirt. By the way, we might have post-match interviews. I don't know. Maybe. Bailey Warren serving. Taps the ball. Now fires it. And that's a well-targeted serve. It went off of uh, Sophia Duell's arms and out of bounds and then flew over her team's bench in the scorer's table. It is 19 to 11, Fulcher. They're closing in on victory. We'll be right back. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Bailey Warren serves coming out of the timeout. Seven Lakes trying to return it, and they do. Now it's on the Fulcher side. Alexis James sets up Lauren Witte, and she fires a cross-court spike, but it is wide of the near sideline. And the Fulcher lead shrinks a little bit. They're up 19-12 to 12 as they try to close out this by-district playoff match. The winner of this one will play Bel Air later this week. All right, now the ball put in play by Natalie Holloway of Seven Lakes, and Daisy Voskule puts an end to the point. 19 to 13, Fulcher, they're six points away. Pearland defeated Travis tonight, and they'll play either Dickinson or Shadow Creek in round two, and it might be possibly Fulcher against Pearland in the third round. Another point for the Chargers as Lauren Witte finesses the ball over the net. Seven Lakes can't keep it airborne. They're down 20 to 13, and now Carly Caraway will serve again. Here goes her serve with very little spin. And a setup for Hoban, and she gets the winner. Between the block attempt of Araya Watson and, and Daisy Voskule. Hoban ready to try and cut into the lead some more. It is 20 to 14. Seven Lakes, their season on the brink. Here comes Hoban serve. And Fulcher is going to be able to return it. Or, or did they? Yes, it's a accidental winner for Fulcher because when the serve came in, 
The dig attempt just went sideways to Daisy Voskul, and she just wanted to get it airborne, and it went almost to the rafters. Didn't touch the ceiling, though, and then it just dropped an inch inside the sideline and just over the net. Daisy must be living right. 21 to 14, now Eddie Lednicki serves. Sinker ball serve, but Seven Lakes will be able to send it back, but Lily Lott is blocked by Araya Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson, to for a 22 to 14 lead. Now Lednicki spins the ball, a mini jump as she serves. Holloway kept it alive, and Wingate gets the winner, bouncing it off the forearm of Lauren Witte, right between Lauren and Araya Watson, and it's 22 to 15, but this is kind of like a boat race. They just keep trading points, but Seven Lakes just can't seem to make up any ground. Three more, po- three more points will put it away for Fulcher. Lauren Witte with a spike, and it is good. It was off of Seven Lakes fingertips and got in there. It's 23 to 16. Now they're two points away. Araya Watson off. Well, wait a minute. Araya wasn't supposed to come off. She goes back on. Daisy Voskul comes out. Lauren Whitty will be serving. You also have Lednicki, Warren, James, and Black out there. And Witte serve. Bumped up by Holloway. She overset it. Now a set up for Warren. That's a winner. Off of Holloway's fists and out of bounds. And it is match point, 24 to 15. Lauren Witte ready to try and close this thing out. There goes her serve to the middle. And it's overset. It's on the Fulcher side, and Seven Lakes survives that point. It was overset. Bailey Warren hammered it, but it was blocked right back into her face. And now it's 24 to 16. Seven Lakes will serve. It's Kuhn. Here it comes. Dug out by Led Nikki, and it goes sideways, and it's a service winner that prolongs it for Seven Lakes. They still have to fight off seven more match points. But they're hanging in there like a rusty fish hook. Kuhn tosses it. Bumped up by Led Nikki. James is going to set it up for Warren. Her spike is down, and this match is over. 25 to 17. Fulcher wins it in four. Good sportsmanship on both teams. They pass by with the low fives underneath the net, and Fulcher can start preparing for Bel Air. We'll take a break, and I don't know if we'll be back with some post-match interviews or not. We'll see if it if we can make that happen for you on VipeFortBend.com. Leonetti Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Leonetti Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Leonetti Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 181 20 West Belfort. Visit the volleyballschool.com and come train with us. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um 
My daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston this January. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players, from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars, with the action kicking off on January 9th. Visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTyronAuto.com. All right, we're back. Fulcher wins in four over Seven Lakes, and we get Addie Lednicki and Sydney Black as our post-match guests. And first of all, uh, Addie, I know that whenever you have a situation like this with a team like Seven Lakes that is so close, you're always going to have friends on the other team. So who were the ones that you knew very well and, and – uh, is it is it easy to kind of know what they're gonna do? Yes, sir. Um, I knew the setter Kate Kuhn, and then I knew their outside Lily Lot. Um, and I think it helps. I mean, like it sucks having to compete against your friends, but it also helps. Like you know how they play, you know what they do, so you're able to tell your team and help them out. All right, Sydney. How about you? Did you have some familiarity with some of the players on the Spartans tonight? Um, I was also familiar with the setter Kate and. One of the taller middles, Heidi, just from club. I'm not as familiar with them as some of my other teammates were, but like Addy said, it kind of helps you to like know their tendencies, but it's also hard like competing against your friends. Well, speaking of hard, in the past, it has not been hard in the first round. Sometimes you've gotten just one a ridiculously easy match. It's just easy for you to win. Those days are over, you know, because they were very competitive, so... How do you get yourself ready, and, and either one of you can answer this, how do you get yourself ready for something uh, really tough in round one when it's been pretty easy in the past? Um, I feel like coming in at 6A, we knew like just based off our reputation, everyone's going to play their best game against us. So we expected that coming out. We've been working really hard, just having grit and competing, and I feel like we did a really good job showing that on the court tonight. All right, Sydney and Addie, you can, anyone can jump in. So uh, last night, do you know who won in the match that will determine who you play between Bel Air and Jersey Village? Yes, sir. It was Bel Air. Exactly. Okay. See, I'm going to see if you're all over this. Yes. Or if you can maybe predict some that you don't know about. So let's see. Um, Pearland and Travis, who do you think won that one? Pearland. You're right. They won in a sweep. Very good. All right. And I don't know who won tonight between Dickinson and Shadow Creek. Who would you think? Maybe Shadow Creek. I would go with Shadow Creek, yes, sir. Okay, and so Shadow Creek, if they win, will play Pearland. And if you beat Bel Air, then I'm thinking yep. full Shapearland. Pearland. Yes, yeah. I think so. That would be fun. Yes, sir. We're ready for it. Yeah, because uh, I remember that August 30th, I think they beat you in five. They did, yes, <laughs> okay. but we're ready. We're, we're prepared. We're ready to come back and get them. Oh, Addie, I am quite sure that you are ready. <laughs> yes, sir. You too, Sydney. Anything else that you want to say? Um, 
<laughs> I mean, I just feel like we're, we've been working really hard in practice and just preparing for the road we have ahead. We're ready for it. We've been working really hard. Okay, I hope that road leads a long way. We do too. <laughs> okay, I, I'm penciling in uh, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. All right, yes, so are we. Let's and we, go. And we better go home happy. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That is Addie Lednicki and Sydney Black, our post match guests. And we're about ready to wrap it up from Fulcher, where they are successful in round one of the playoffs. So for Rosie Bega, the lovely and talented one inside the mothership at Vipe World headquarters, and also Bob McKay, Merle Bertrand, Suna Venkat, and Patrick Kinnick, Roger Smith saying a very fond goodbye and God bless from Fulcher High School. We know we're going to have football coming up later this week, Thursday night at Strake Jesuit against Foster. Then on Friday, we'll have High Tower and Elkins, two teams kind of tuning up for the playoffs. They already know where they're going, what division, and all that stuff. And then on Saturday, we'll have a double header at 11 a.m. in the morning. That's kind of redundant. If I say 11 a.m., I don't need to say in the morning. At 11, it is Travis taking on Clements. And then the nightcap at 6 is going to be Friendswood and Kempner as the Cougars try to break even and get a 5-5 five and five season. So thanks for supporting VibeFortBend.com. We're your one and only broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. Goodbye, and we'll talk to you on Thursday.